Okay, I'm gonna show you how I solo CQB real quick. First, we're gonna approach this bitch from the weak side like we're stuck in the friend zone. Then, like Eddie Murphy on Hollywood Boulevard, we're looking for traps. Swing that bitch, get the 90, check the hard corner, then dead space behind the door. Boom, first entry complete. I can smell something funky coming from this room on the right, so we're gonna wedge that shit up like a camel toe. Focus up on the next door, check the handle, shit's locked, so you know what that means. We give it the old kick and pick two step. Check for traps, now it's time for some of that sweet peek and pie action. I backed that ass up like a fat bitch and got a wide pie, then I pushed in harder than broke back mountain. Seen this jarhead looking punk and told him to get his bitch ass down as I started working the next door. Then out of the corner of my eye I see his older brother coming. He tried stepping to me with that weak shit but I folded him like a towel. Then this Death Stranding cosplayer catches a warning shot but wouldn't drop his shit. So I had to do some interior decorating with the boy's brains. Finish clearing dead space and it's time for cleanup. I don't want to have to backtrack and I sure as hell don't want one of these fools shanking me from behind like a prison bitch. I posted up on the strong side so I had room to escape if shit got hot. That's when I seen this kid that looks like he works at 7-Eleven. Looked like he just got off work and was ready to go play some D&D or some shit. I had to get a quick pie to see what kind of shit sandwich I was dealing with. Not gonna lie, the right side of this bitch looked like it was filled with corn niblets, so I checked dead space left and started looping around clearing the perimeter before pushing up on that corner fed shit sandwich. Came across a door on the left, but I still had dead space on my right, so I had to do the Watusi shuffle and clear that shit real quick. I was like, fuck no, I ain't going down that way. Hooked back around to the right to get a better angle. Then this pissed off mechanic comes around the corner. I hit him up so hard the boy's soul floated out of his body in front of me. I kept pushing up because I thought the next room needed a paint job, so I turned this boy's head into a color swatch on the wall. Apparently that wasn't enough to make 7-Eleven co-worker over here sit his stubborn ass down, so I went back to do a little cleanup. Don't worry, I'll get back to him real quick. I reloaded my shit, finished my cleanup, and continued to try to get the stupid stubborn bastard to comply. When I see the skinhead Gopnik come in, checking what all the commotion was about. So I greeted him with a two-piece, and I made sure the immediate area was clear before backing in and securing the dipshit minimum wage employee. So I gave her another quick pie and checked the immediate area. You know I had to tie these fools up so they don't catch me slipping with my pants down later. But I didn't want to stay in the open hallway with the thresh on my 12. So I backed up, secured the skinhead, and pushed the open 12. Checking my dead space left and right. I needed some space to pie so I swung that bitch the other way and started sneakily pushing forward. That's when my spidey senses started tingling and this disgruntled balding amputee starts busting caps at me. So I had to back up real quick and serve him a two piece. I could hear his buddies tap dancing in the other room, so I wanted to make sure I bring enough buckshot for the whole class. So I backed up and reloaded real quick so I could be ready if more of these fools rushed me. Back in it to win it. I pushed up, got the 90, saw the shady looking cleaning lady giving me the stink eye. So I reeled back, tossed the stinger right into her stupid face. Her boyfriend tried stepping to me, but I shut his bitch ass down real quick. Next up was her middle-aged stepdad, but just like her boyfriend, he was a little bitch too, and he took a knee right quick. I didn't trust the way he was looking at me, so I decided to bag and tag his ass before running past to clear that last bit of dead space. I could tell he wanted to shank my pink ass like a ball house kid. After clearing dead space, it was time for more cleanup. Then back out the way I came to the main hallway. I could hear shit going down on the room to my right, so I reloaded my shoddy and started working the door. By now you know the drill. Peek, check traps, dead space, and push in. I got hung up on the door, trying to make room for my big ass gun. I knew that shit would cause problems when I wanted to pie in the future, so I swung it back the other way and started to give myself room to work. I could see the shadow of a degenerate shitlord, so I snapped a 90 and caught a glimpse of him through the glory hole. I thought it'd be nice for once and call for compliance, but he wasn't having it, so I gave him one last warning shot, then proceeded to blow his dick off through the glory hole. That boy dropped like a sack of shit, but I don't think he was dead. I continued scanning, but I needed to clear the dead space on my right before attempting to enter that open area of death. Finally, I said fuck it. I pushed into the last area of known contact. It was just a senile geriatric who looked like he had filled up his adult diaper. So I detained his stinky ass and finished my cleanup and moved back into the hallway where I came from. Next up was his trap door, so you know I had to get in on the weak side and work it from an angle. Pop the door open, get the 90. Now it's time for some incremental pie so I can hoover up those tasty crumbs of info. Once I got what I needed, I snapped back and launched a stinger balls deep into the room. I let it breathe a bit, clearing dead space, and then moving in to secure the douchebag coward that was hiding behind all these women. He started spouting some anti-semitic shit, but I slapped his head and hogtied that bitch. 
After that, I had a bit of tidying up to do before company arrived, so I cleared up the last bit of hostages and called it a day. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a like below so that I know to make more of this content for you. Other than that, I have some more videos for you in the top right over there. Go check them out, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.